Hello, welcome back our first prep students. We are going to continue our science session تحت رعاية وإشراف وزارة التربية والتعليم. Today our lesson, we are going to continue the last lesson, is about matter and its characteristics. We are going to revise what we say last uh, session. Matter, what's meant by matter? We said that matter has physical properties, which is color, taste, and smell. And also we, we uh, uh, talked about density, which is equal to mass over volume. And we explained the melting point. Today, we are going to talk about new point, which is the boiling point. What do we mean by boiling point? We said before that melting point, it is a process by which changing solid to liquid by heating. And we said that melting point, it is a temperature at which solid can be changed into liquid. And melting is a process itself. So what about boiling point? Boiling point, it is the temperature. When I, I say point, I am talking about temperature. It is the temperature by which liquid can be changed into gases by heating. For example, boiling water. We can boil water until certain limit it changes from liquid state to gas state. So what's meant by boiling point? It is a change of matter from liquid state to gaseous state by heating, we call this uh, boil, boiling, okay? Boiling point itself, we are talking about temperature. It is the temperature at which matter changes from liquid state to gaseous state. So here, you have to differentiate between boiling and boiling and, and boiling point. Boiling, it is a process, changing liquid to gases. So what about boiling point? I'm talking about point. Point means temperature. So we can say that it is a temperature at which changing liquid to gas by heating. Life application. I said before, if you want to deal with science, you should be good observer. And to know the scientific issue and apply it in our life. How? Separation of petrol components. I mean by com components, constituents. Petrol consists of what? Consists of oil. There are many oil inside petrol. Here is apparatus. This apparatus is used to separate different kinds of oils from petrol. We call it oil derivative. petrol. We have here the crude oil, the raw material of oil as shown here. Here, this apparatus, we are going to boil the oil to very, very high temperature. At certain temperature, each one of this oil will evaporate, change into vapor. For example, here, the lowest temperature is butane and propane. Butane and propane boil at 20 degrees centigrade. From 20 to 150, you have butane and propane. I know quite well that you don't know what's meant by butane and propane, this a type of oil derivative. The normal and where oil of petrol type. Ikamen, we have kerosene. Kerosene at 20, uh, 200 degrees centigrade. 200 degrees centigrade, Kerosene evaporates. So what, what else? We have diesel at 300 degrees centigrade. And then the fuel oil. Fuel oil, which we get from it, the energy we use it. Time. At 4 degrees centigrade, we have lubricating oil. Uh, lubricating oil means something used in, uh, as we call it, tashheem. Uh, paraffin wax and asphalt, which we use it in the roads. So we have here many types of petrol oil. Each one has certain boiling point. 
as I mentioned before, butane and propane from 20 to 150 degrees centigrade. Now what about kerosene at 200 degrees centigrade? We notice here as we go down from top to bottom, the temperature increase and certain kind of oil evaporates. So we have here gradually as we go down butane and propane first, then petrol, then kerosene, then diesel, then fuel oil, then paraffin wax and asphalt. Okay? After talking about boiling point, we will talk about hardness. And I mean by hardness that solid state, uh, uh, certain material in solid state cannot be easily divided or broken. How? Some solids are soft at ordinary temperature, such as rubber. Taban kulina arfin rubber, something like el kawich, sahli giddan giddan in nahnan shakkelu. Here at ordinary temperature, yani at normal temperature. Tab, what about others? Some substances need heat to be softened, like metals. Hal mungkin nigib piece of iron, hetet hadid nadar nahnan niksar hab idina? Sabi giddan. We need what? We need to heat it in order to be softened, in order to, to melt, and to be in the molten form. Okay? Some substance cannot be softened if heated, if heated such as coal and sulfur. طبعاً كلنا عارفين شكل الفحم وشكل السلفر. It is very... Uh, الفحم سهل قوي تكسره. مش كده؟ لكن ما تقدرش تعمل منه شكل. Cannot be softening. You can't do from it any, any shape, the same as sulfur, okay? If we talk about life application and talk about hardness of this substance, I will give you example legal for us, like the screw drivers. I mean by screw drivers here, something like al-mafak, are made of steel iron to be hard and to be easily used. Okay, what else? The main substance for making buildings, buildings, el mabani, el main substance, which is very, very important for buildings, is iron, el hadid. What else? This simple example for hardness. What about electrical conductivity? Here, we will explain that substance can allow electricity to pass through it and other substance doesn't allow electricity to pass through it. As I mentioned before, if you want to be a scientist or the one who wants to deal with science, you should be a good observer. Subs many substances around us, metals and other substances like gases and liquid, does it conduct electricity or doesn't it conduct electricity? Let us see. Some substances are good conductor of electricity and other are bad conductor. I mean by good conductor allow electricity to pass through it. Bad conductor doesn't allow electricity to pass through it. Like what? Example. Metals like iron, silver, copper, and aluminium. All metals can conduct electricity, can allow electricity to pass through it. And also liquid, like acidic solution. Acidic solution here means something like vinegar, like lemon juice, can allow electricity to pass through it. And other substance, like alkaline solution, like shampoo, like soap, all of this can conduct electricity, can allow electricity to pass through it. And some salt solution, some salty water. I want to mention very important point here, that if you compare between pure, pure water and salty water, salty water can conduct electricity, but pure water will not conduct electricity. Why? Because salty water contains salts inside it. So salts can carry electricity through it, but pure water doesn't allow electricity. 
طب وات اباوت ذا تاب ووتر يو هاف ان يور هاوس وات اباوت ذا تاب ووتر داز ات كوندكت الكتريستي اور نوت تاب ووتر كان كوندكت الكتريستي بيكوز ات كونتينز سولتس كلورين ويتش يوزد ان بيوريفيكيشن اوف ووتر كان كوندكت الكتريستي اند الاو الكتريستي تو باس ثرو ذيس ووتر وات اباوت ذا اذر سبستنس which allow which doesn't allow electricity to pass gases of course gases cannot conduct electricity because air doesn't allow electricity to pass through it ma hadsh bikahrab mil hawa tab what about sugar solution when it, uh, when we uh, experiment it it doesn't allow electricity at all what about another chemical solution like hydrogen chloride in benzene doesn't allow electricity Let us see other substance conduct electricity or not. Here, substance, I will write some solid substance like Uh, copper, like sulfur, like coal, like pure water, like uh, iron, like alkaline solution. like phosphorus and then i want you to choose which one can conduct electricity and which one will not conduct electricity metals all conduct electricity like what like iron like what also like copper any metal No, there is no other metal. So all of this can conduct electricity. What about the other? Here I, I mean alkaline solution. Okay? Alkaline solution can conduct electricity. What about pure water? As I mentioned before, doesn't contain salts at all. So it will not uh, conduct electricity. What about cool? It is a solid material, but cannot conduct electricity. because it is not a metal. What about sulfur? Cannot conduct electricity. Can you give me another example for liquid substance? Yes, like what? Can I say here salty water? What about salty water? What about salty water? Contains salt, so salt can carry electricity, can allow it to pass through, through it, so it can conduct electricity so so here we have many substance some of them can conduct electricity and the other cannot conduct electricity so you have to differentiate between them let us continue Other substance cannot conduct electricity like wood, like plastic, like sulfur, like phosphorus. The relation between electrical conductivity and our life. You should observe which one can conduct electricity and which one cannot conduct electricity. The first application is electrical cables. Of course, you see that Electrical cables are covered with plastic, and inside this plastic there is a metal. This metal may be copper, may be iron, may be aluminium. The electric cables is covered by plastic cover in order to hold it easily and to be safe. Safe from what? This pla plastic uh, cover will not allow electricity to transfer to your hand. So it will keep you safe. But inside it, there is a metal. This metal is aluminium, allow electricity to pass copper, iron. So 
we should cover it with plastic. Why? To save ourselves or to be safe uh, in order not to allow electricity to pass through it. So wires are made of copper or aluminium and covered with plastic. Why? For this uh, reason. Electrical screw drivers are made of steel iron, but handles are made of wood. Screw drivers, I mean by it, mafak. Why, why screw drivers is made of iron? To be hard, to be easily used, because it's very hard type. What about its hand? Why we cover it with wood, or it is made of wood or plastic? Also, in order to protect ourselves from electricity, because it will not allow electricity to pass to our hand. Okay. Now we are going to talk about new point, which is thermal conductivity. Uh, I will return back to the electrical conductivity. And we notice that due to the passage of electricity through an electric cables or through a wire conductor, this will produce heat due to the movement of electricity through these cables. So metal can conduct electricity and also conduct heat. I mean here by thermal conductivity. Thermal means heat. Thermal conductivity allow heat to pass. Type. Now we show kida. Good conductor of heat, bad conductor of heat. Some substances are good conductor of heat, and other substances are bad conductor of heat. Like what? Metals. Substances allow heat to pass through it. We call it good conductor. And substance doesn't allow heat to pass through it, or they don't, uh, that don't allow heat to pass through it, we call it bad conductor. Example what? Iron, copper, aluminium. I will stop here. Why? Because iron, copper, aluminium allow electricity to pass and also allow heat to pass through it. So it is good conductor for both heat and electricity. Has thermal conductivity and has also electrical conductivity. OK, what about the other substance? Wood doesn't allow heat to pass through it, of course. Plastic, it will melt easily if heat pass through it, and also doesn't allow electricity to pass through it. So here, there are many substances can conduct electricity and conduct heat, such as mean, such, such as metals. Okay, and other substance doesn't allow heat and doesn't allow electricity to pass. Like what? Like wood, like plastic, like rubber. Okay, what is the relation between thermal conductivity and our life? Can we use thermal conductivity in our life? Yes, of course. How? Cooking pans are made of uh, aluminium, or cooking pots are made of aluminium. Of course, uh, cooking pots are made of aluminium or copper or iron, iron, because it can resist the heat and allow the heat to pass through it, and we can cook the food easily. But uh, if you notice that there, is, there isn't any cooking pots made of wood or plastic, it's only made of metals. And the mainly three metals are copper, aluminium, and iron. What else? Its handles are made of wood or an, and plastic, like this picture. Wood doesn't allow heat to pass through it. Plastic doesn't allow heat to pass through it. So it can protect you against uh, the heat of, uh, uh, or protect your hand against heat. OK, let us practice. I will give you many substance and you are going to classify. So I want you to classify okay. 
the following. into good and bad conductor of electricity. I have wood, I have iron, I have salty water, also, I have pure water, I have rubber, pork, cool, and copper, and I will add alkaline. And I want you to classify them into good conductor and bad conductor. So I have here good conductor and I have here bad conductor. What about wood? As we mentioned before, we put it where? Of course, here it is a bad conductor. What about iron? It is a metal. And we said before that all metals are good conductor of electricity, allow electricity to pass. So I will put it here. What about salty water? Water containing salt, and salt can carry electricity. So it will be good conductor. So I have here. Salty water. What about pure water? Pure water doesn't contain any salt, so it will not uh, conduct electricity, so I will put it here. Pure water. What about rubber? Rubber is not a metal and cannot allow electricity to pass through it, so I will put it in pure water, bed, rubber. What about cork? The same as rubber, the same material. So I will put it where here doesn't allow cork. What about cool? Also, الفحم doesn't allow electricity to pass through it at all. And I have here copper. It is a metal, and I said all metals conduct electricity, so it is here, and alkaline solution, which allow electricity to pass through it, so I will put it here, okay, Okay, so we have here good conductor and bad conductor, as shown here. And we have iron, salty water, copper, alkaline solution, good conductor, and we have bad conductor, wood, pure water, rubber, cork, and coal. Let us uh, revise our lesson today. We talk about, first, uh, we talk about hardness and uh, some substance are hard and other are soft. And we talk about boiling point, that uh, it is a change in temperature or the temperature at which uh, liquid can be changed into gases. And also we cover two types of uh, conductivity, electrical conductivity and thermal conductivity. Some substance has the ability to conduct electricity and other has not ability to conduct electricity. And are also another substance has thermal conductivity and I mean by 
thermal, I mean by it, heat conductivity, allow heat to pass through it. And other substance doesn't allow heat to pass through it. Okay, see you later in the next session. Thank you, bye-bye.